What's up, Legends? Rochasaurus back with another YouTube React. Today we got this NPC is overpowered in zero build. Fortnite zero build tips and tricks. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video and see what NPC you need to hire for your next BR match. Let's go. Let's go! What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a super overpowered NPC in Fortnite Zero Build. This has probably been one of the most exciting videos for me to make. I'm super excited to show you guys this. And if you guys do find this helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below what you think of this. And that is going to be that the supply specialist, so like the munitions expert, which can be found at this gas station in between Kenjutsu Crossing, hmm. Mega City, and Naughty Nets, as well as the munitions major, but I think he only spawns randomly as a rift event this season. He doesn't have a set spawn location. Location. but these supply NPCs can give you bunkers and uh, shockwave grenades if you're holding those items out so a lot of players know how these work they give you ammo every 30 seconds or oh so. nice shockwave grenades is and what you probably didn't know is that if you're holding out shockwave grenades or you're holding out porter bunkers in zero build about every 30 seconds or so these NPCs will give you three of each so if you're holding out shockwave grenades That's a nice tip. and you have room for more shockwave grenades like your stack isn't six already they will give you three more shockwave grenades, and this will happen every 30 seconds. Uh, if you are full on shockwaves or porta bunkers, depending on what you're holding out, they'll just give you a random piece of equipment. And I haven't really seen anybody talk about this, and I didn't know about it myself until Alex Court left this comment on one of my videos, and I read this, and I was like, this has to be cap. There, there's no way this is true. Like, I get comments all the time about a lot of things that just aren't true. But I went into game and tried it, and it does work exactly as I said. You just hold the shockwaves out, they'll give you three. Uh, and the That's holding cool. it out is important because the way this scout or supply that's definitely something on a need to know like i'm constantly trying to look for shockwaves or when i'm in a sticky situation i need to get out quick so hiring this npc will for sure be beneficial to your next br match specialist works is they give you ammo for the item you're currently holding so if you're holding an ar they're supposed to give you medium ammo unless you're full on medium ammo if you're holding a shotgun they're supposed to give you shotgun shells so you need right. to make sure that when you approach them, you have your shockwaves out or your porta bunkers out if you if that's what you want them to give you. Oh, like bunkers I said, too, if yeah. your stack is already full, they'll just give you a random piece of equipment. Like they'll drop frag grenades, fireflies, bandages. And I have had them do this sometimes when I wasn't full, but more often than not, like it was a very rare circumstance when that happened. Most of the time, they're going to give you the thing that you're holding. And in the case of shockwaves or porta bunkers, that's huge value because like if you guys play zero build, you know how important both of these items are being able to find either one, whichever one you prefer or both for some people, but being able to find them and being able to find enough to where it's useful. And then also just during the course of the game, it's something you always have to be concerned about. Like if you have four shockwaves, you have to think in the back of your head, is it worth using a shockwave to push this? because then I might only have three more and I might not be able to find any more for the rest of this game. Whereas with this NPC, you basically have an unlimited shockwave or porta bunker spawner following you around at all times unless they get eliminated. It is very broken. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about it that way. That's pretty OP. Yeah, you just get unlimited shockwaves or porta bunkers. That's crazy. Okay, you don't really have to think at all in fights anymore. You can use three shockwaves in a fight because who cares? You're probably gonna have another resupply coming right away after the fight ends. And then that's going to be three more shockwaves. And then the same goes with bunkers. You're going to have more bunkers coming. Uh, like I already said in the video, you just approach it with the thing out. And if it's time for it to give you ammo, it'll drop it. And in team game modes, I think this could also be very broken. I assume it would work based on the person who hires it. It gives that person something. But, you know, it's every 30 seconds. So as long as the person who hired the NPC isn't full on shockwaves, you can drop them to your teammate and then the supply specialist will give you more, and then you can kind of just keep doing that over the course of the game, and the entire team will be armed with shockwaves, or the entire team will be armed with porta bunkers. I think this is going to be one of the most busted things. Yeah, that's huge for f squads, especially, like, I wonder if this is even included in, like, uh, tournaments. Like, if you can, I don't know if you can hire bots or not in tournaments, let me know down in the comments. But if you can hire this bot in tournaments, unlimited bunkers or shockwaves, dude, you're set, with, especially with a squad. In zero build, uh, like I said, she spawns at this gas station in between Kenjutsu, Mega City, and Naughty Nets. When I was trying to get gameplay for this video, I would just go Naughty Nets, kind of loot it up, and then 
make my way to the gas station afterwards and i feel like if you are someone who's looking for a more like low-key strategy to get wins that would probably be the easiest way to do so right now i think just having unlimited shockwaves is, is a huge deal but that is gonna be it for this video i'm gonna let some gameplay play out showing this kind of in action in game a game i got with it if you guys found this helpful or informative remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and comment down below what you think of this uh if you think it should be patched because i do think it is pretty busted and with the you know soaring sprints explosive repeater rifle combo having unlimited shockwaves on top of that is pr probably going to be unbeatable but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching well there you guys go one of the most op bots to hire in the game right now is the ammunitions expert that you can find between naughty nets mega city and kenjinsu crossing let me know down in the comments if you guys know any other npcs that are op for this season and as always thank you guys for watching that'll be it for this video and i'll see you on the next one Hey guys, if you like the video, make sure you head over to the page, hit that like button, scroll over, smash that subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified for future video drops, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.